Hey, this is Rick here to give you some more light bulb moment wisdom for your day. When it comes to your investments, you want to think like a farmer. So I, I've got a farm and I know corn is good, wheat's good, sunflowers are good. I'm planting my seeds in my farm. After a couple of weeks, I might check out and see if there's any sprouts yet or not. If I stare at my farm day after day or hour after hour, it's not going to grow any faster, right? If I seem to notice, hmm, the soil over there is a little nicer looking than it is over here, I'm going to do major damage if I uproot my wheat and just plant it over there going forward. That's not going to do me any good. It's going to reset myself back to square one. All I care about with my farm is, is the soil being tilled? Is there fertilizer? Are the crops being rotated? That kind of healthy activity. I know there's going to be bad weather on occasion. There's going to be storms, might be some hail, who knows? Yet over time, I also know that say my corn may produce 30 barrels in the first year. Over the next 10 or 20 years, it's going to produce I don't know, 200 barrels. That's the kind of yield that I expect with my well-tended to farm. When it comes to your portfolio, you want to think long-term, not short-term. Oh, it's so easy to become tempted to move or make changes based on short-term pieces of information, news flashes, uh, political events, whatever the case might be. It's so easy for us to be lured to make a change, to go in and reach in and say, fix the farm, fix the portfolio, where the best action, in many cases, is no action at all. I hope that this has been helpful to you. If it has been, share it with a friend. If you like what you see, send me a comment here on my website. Don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out the next video that comes out. And until then, see you later.